Hey everyone, welcome to Cam Keyframe Presents 12 Days of Christmas 2021, where I create tutorials 12 days in a row and give away the project files for free on my Patreon page. The link is in the description down below. And today we've got day number nine. And today we're having a look at animating these message pop-up windows, like this very simple one with a little bit of glow and a 3D effect. And this one has a bit more to it, so it's got, got this typing animation and then that turns into the message itself. So both of these we're going to uh, walk through today. So first off, let's start with this one, speech bubble A2 here. We have the speech bubble itself, the shape, we have the text and we have these two emojis. Um, and they are, I'm going to parent these three to our text speech bubble. And the uh, anchor point is at the corner here and you can uh, rotate it so then it rotates from that corner out. And what I would like to do is it, uh, it scales up from zero to 100 and it has this rotation and then this little bouncy effect uh, next to it, which I uh, made manually. You can always also do this with a plugin called Motion, wherever it is, here it is, um, to add the Excite button to it. It has the excite button and this will create this kind of bouncy effect. So I'll show you that as well, but we'll also make it manually if you don't uh, have this plugin, of course. So we're going to go to scale and end it right there. Go to zero. So there you are. And I want it to pop in very quick. So I'm going to give him some easy ease. And I'm going to drag this out to the left. So now it pops in like that, but I want this to, to the left as well and start high. Yeah, and it takes way too long. Like that kind of, yeah, and then I'm going to, um, let's just turn this up way a lot. Yeah, nice. Cool. Yeah, like this. Cool, that looks great. Pops up. And then we're going to add to rotation, so shift R. And then over here, I'm going to click on the stopwatch and then go back in time a bit and just turn it down like this something like this and then whoop, it pops up when it's up here and then i'm going to um, kind of overshoot it a bit like this so that's at minus let's make it minus two here just to, for easy math then we're going to go down and make this down one and then make it go up again but then only like uh, 0 0.5 uh, oh minus 0 0.5 then to go up in this case and then maybe uh, 0.2 down and then end at zero here. So give that all some easy ease. Oops, easy ease. And this one, I'm going to use flow for this one. Uh, quickly, start quick, scale up, or ro rotate up quickly and then, so. Yeah, and I'm going to drag this in a little bit. Now play with the timing. Yeah, and then this maybe take a bit longer so that looks nice if you want the whole thing to be faster select all of it and then uh, hold option on your keyboard and click and drag the last keyframe in and out you can change the speed with that the whole speed of everything so that looks nice i think that now uh, maybe this these two can go earlier a bit a bit faster give that a new Yeah, like that. So just play around with these. Just it's like a lot of fine tuning to get the the the, the nice uh, movement. And I'll show you what I also do is duplicate this and single that out. I'm going to delete all of these keyframes for rotation. And what you can do as well, if you have the motion plugin, you can go to rotation and then um, dial that back here, and then just add excite to it. And what it does is this it adds that excite excitement movement to it so just tweak that around and you have this really long bounce as well which looks really realistic as well but if you don't have that effect it's i highly recommend it though if you don't have the plugin then buy it or just do it manually like this but it takes a lot of more time you need more keyframes blah 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 so that's how you can create this effect so we're going to uh, duplicate this message one composition here with this guy in it and i'm going to place my message my speech bubble a2 which we just created in here like that there you go and i want to make this 3d so it kind of fits in this scene so click on the 3d button here right there click then we get this these handles and we can rotate it around the uh, x y and z axis so in this case i'm going to rotate it like this and i'm going to place it 
over there, maybe scale it down a bit like this and then place it over there so it's coming out of the phone kind of and then you get this nice effect that it's 3D here in this uh, in this scene which looks cool and then we're gonna add a little glow effect here so right click layer styles and an outer glow open that up make the color this blue but maybe make it a bit lighter like more to white mm, make the size really big so the size that spread sorry the size like this kind of or maybe we do make this like bright bright blue maybe even brighter darker a bit yeah that looks better nice okay well maybe that's that's kind of it i think that's that should be enough yeah fine let's leave that so with this you can change a lot of stuff here of course um whatever you would like but i, th I think this looks good enough right now let's play that back one more time so it takes a little bit extra time to load because of that uh, glow effect on it right now but here you go this is the finished effect really nice but uh, we can make it even cooler with this one so first off you can see the typing animation here which looks really cool i'm gonna go into my speech bubble where, where is it or oh, this one then speech bubble b here we can see we have the animation of these little balls here so this one and this one and this one and it has these three dots in it and then it kind of morphs into the bigger one here so we're going to animate this one first i'm going to open this speech bubble b2 here which is a clean composition we got the text and these two emoji emojis in here let's turn these off and i have this little thingy here which is the thing we'll need later so i'm going to drag that to the right we don't need it right now we have the large one the medium and the small little balls here and these three balls these dots i'm going to parent them to the large one just so they're nice and tight uh, bonded together and these we're going to have to animate first so let's give this a position P on your keyboard and drag that over there and let's drag this down and then maybe give this easing like this like kind of pops in let's turn it over there it's way too slow all right do that again zoom in here yeah i think it's gonna go even faster oops select some layers this one apply so that pops in nice and then this one we'll do the same thing kind of but I'm gonna give this a little curve so cut this off and then drag it down here and then um, you can with your pen tool you can click and drag out this point so you can get this nice little curve here and give this the same easing here so and just time that right so kind of comes at the same time maybe a bit slower all right yeah let's tweak this a little bit yeah cool and then this one i have the anchor point over here so that this is the rotation point which is rotate from and we're going to give this some position some rotation so shift r and scale shift s give them all a keyframe and then we're going to put them here and then we're going to scale this down and drag this here and rotate this a bit and then put the scaling at zero here whoops zero and select them and click to give it the same easing nice and also maybe give this some little curvature as well cool zoom out here yeah and let's get the timing right yeah that looks great then we're going to animate these little dots here i'm going to do that by the opacity pressing t on the keyboard opens the opacity and they're already at 50 percent so they're a little bit see-through i'm going to uh, kind of have them uh, light up a little bit more so let's create a keyframe here for uh, 50 percent to start and then let's go one two three four five frames further put it at 100 and then let's go 10 frames further so command shift uh, right arrow key let's put them back at 50. so now it kind of lights up and it goes down a little bit slower let's copy this to these ones over there so we have the same thing happening there but then we're going to offset that maybe like this. I don't know what the speed was here. Oops. Put this one there. Yeah, that looks nice. And we're going to give this a uh, expression. Option click on the stopwatch and type in loop out. Copy that. And then do the same thing here. Paste them over there. 
So then we have this looping out. But we, if we want to loop this out, we need to have, uh, because now it's going like crazy. So let's uh, go 10 frames further in time here again and put it at, let's say, 50. And do the same thing here. Copy the first one, 50. Then same thing there, 50. So now we get a nice little loop here because they start at 50 and they end on 50. So that looks great. Okay, that's done. Let's close that up. So how does this look? Oh, we can start the opacity changing stuff earlier, of course. Let's do that here. Yeah, nice. And then somewhere around here where we want this to stop and we want the, the, the shape to grow into this bigger shape here. So we are going to uh, go to the large one here open up the content group one path one and then the path here and we're going to need to scale this up to a bigger one but i need a kind of a template on how that needs to look so i'm going to copy it from this here we have this big shape which is which is turned off here it is this big shape here so i'm going to copy this one turn this off again and paste that in here so we have kind of a uh, a guide here so i'm going to lock this and then for this large one we have the uh, keyframe for the path position for the path here and then I'm going to go into my pen tool and click on these two and these two and drag them up like that and then select these four and then drag them to the right and we can turn uh, throw this away boom so now you can see that the shape is growing let's give this some nice easing maybe this one yeah make it a bit faster even more, perhaps. Boop. Yeah, let's so get the timing right. So this one is going in. Speech bubble, text typing, and then bloop, it grows. Yeah, so on this on this part, we want these ones to can disappear. So we're going to um, maybe we can give them, just cut them off uh, hard. So we have my hard cut. So boom, like they're all disappearing at once while this thing's growing. And we have this text here. Let's turn this back on. And we're going to scale this up and I'm going to parent these two icons to my text here. And my text, I have the anchor point below here because I want it to scale from that point. So let's give this a scale and then scale this down to zero. Boom. Cut this layer off here. Give this the same easing as this one, which was over here. Yeah, and then kind of, because here we see the little text, it's ugly. So let's kind of tweak this a little bit. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, something like that. Oh, that ain't right. Let's just keep it at the same speed as this one then. Yeah, that's a little bit of tweak, tweaking, but I, I think this looks fine when you play it. It looks, it looks. Uh, Perfect, okay. I see this thing is a little bit too big. So let's just drag this out a little bit. Make sure to stand on that keyframe though when you do that. Yeah, and then I see that the text is kind of overlapping a little bit. So we'll need to uh, adjust that, but make sure it, it's nice and neat here. And then this one a bit further. Yeah, so that's uh, that's fine. All right, this looks good. And then we need to we need to add this little thingy here at the bottom. This one. Uh, where are you? Here are you. And this needs to appear and the other ones need to disappear. These little two here. So we're going to go to small and medium and then position. And then when we are here, this one gets a new keyframe and then zoom in a bit to this point here. And we're going to drag this over there and this one over. Oops over there and because we have this easing this this curve in here we have this little crazy little thing here so let's go to select all of them right click keyframe interpolation go to linear so now everything is ni nice and straight again and then we're going to add the curve in this again so right like that and we're going to give these um, this easing so it kind of disappear in there let's make this a bit earlier so we we have a little bit of offset and then a little thingy thingy needs to be positioned down 
Um, and I'm gonna start up here somewhere, kinda give this some easing here as well. Yeah, and it can be a bit faster, a bit sooner. And it's also a little bit of a tweaking game there. But that's fine for now. So for now, this is great. It's coming into screen, it's typing, and then it's morphing to the bigger text message, which looks awesome. Okay, fine, that's great. And then we can place this into our um, composition here. So we have speech bubble B2. Let's just uh, option uh, click, or let's go to the other one though. We started at that one. Where is it? Message two here. This little lady here. And then I'm gonna drag this in by holding option. And then while this is selected, and we can instantly um, replace it with that one. So there you go. And it also it instantly, of course, uh, takes over all the parameters of this one. We have the layer style already on it. So that's why uh, we have this nice glow. So this looks cool. And we can do the same thing here, of course, on this guy. And then option, I'll select this one, option slash alt, click and drag, boom. We have this one in there. And there you go. Nice. So this is how you can create this iMessage pop-up little window typing thingy. And this is the end of day number nine. If you would like to download the project files for this video, head on over to the description box down below and click on the link for the Patreon page. There I will upload all of the project files for free. And while you're there, maybe consider subscribing to the Patreon channel as well for even more cool stuff. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.